Hey, good morning. Check it out. We've got a nice crop of oats this morning. I found my way out into Ironton this morning and I pulled the van over once I saw these oat shocks. You can see that the grain is up here. He's cut them off at the base and then tied them up with a piece of baler's twine. You can see that baler's twine there. And then they stack up seven bundles. They're, they're drying out here in the field and I think they dry out for a week or two. Let's make this painting of the Let's pick up the easel and make this painting of Amish oats. Left a bag of bones, a train of stones, all to find my way home now. As the air grows cold, the trees unfold, and I am lost and not found. I made contact with the farmer. He's back in the distance back there with a couple of horses and they're raking hay right now. So I pulled over and I asked him if he was gonna bale that hay today. He said he might, but he might wait until tomorrow. And I asked him if I could come out here and stand in his field of oats and do a little painting. And he said I could. I painted out here back in 2010. I think the guy who is raking the hay right now was just a kid back then. the end of the painting session and I'm going to pack my things up and leave this field of oat shocks. But it was a nice painting session. I did get to meet the farmer whose field of shocks this is. He was a nice guy. And I asked him if I could come back and paint again sometime and he said sure come on over. But we'll see where that takes us. I would like to paint these oat shocks under evening light. To me they're just like field sculptures. I just got back from the Art Institute. I saw the grain stack paintings by Claude Monet. Those were like huge grain stacks. They were taller than me. The grain stacks in Givernay are a lot bigger than these. These are maybe two and a half feet tall. And Monet's grain stacks were quite huge. Things are just different in different parts of the world. People do things differently. And so this grain will go to feed the horses and my painting will maybe wind up in a frame. Oh yeah, we're supposed to talk about the painting. Um, so here's what I came up with today. Pleasure to be out here. Nice morning. Had to fight with the umbrella a little bit, but that's not so bad. And, uh, and, and hopefully I'll be able to get back out again at some point and do another painting of these Amish oat shocks. So thanks so much for being with me and we'll take it from there and we'll do this again soon.